hey guys so um, in this lecture we are going to see how can you uh, you know crack the password for any wordpress website right because generally uh, people are not aware how to protect their wordpress website right and they uh, leave it vulnerable for attacks right and they don't even use any security tool to uh, you know prevent the attack so uh, let me just do one thing let me uh, just you know do the scanning on one of the website, right? I have already uh, checked the IP address of that particular website with the NS lookup tool. You can also do that, right? So I just don't want to show the domain name here, but yeah, I can just simply use the IP address, right? And I want to check what are all the ports which are open for this particular website. And then we can do other stuff as well. So uh, you can see 443, port 80, 995, 143, 25, uh, 53, right? So a couple of ports are open and uh, FTP is open, SSH is open, right? HTTP is open, MySQL is open, POP3 is open, right? These are the ports which are open, right? So uh, let's try to uh, break in the password, right? So what you can do is you can simply uh, open up your browser window, right? And uh, here, I'm not going to type the domain name. I'll simply use the uh, IP address, right? And uh, you can just do one thing. You can open up the uh, developer tools. Okay and uh, let's visit this is just for learning purpose please do not do attacks in public environment right so this is just for learning and knowledge perspective that's it So, okay, we can see that we are using get method, right? To access this particular website, okay? So we need to make certain points to break the password. So point number one, to identify what are all the services are open, right? and uh, your request method what is your request method right so let me uh, find it out so let me proceed to the connection okay uh, I need to use the website name only. So let's see. So you can see we have the back panel. Let me. So commonly, uh, you know, people use admin only. Let me type any uh, password. So when you click on login, this is going to give you the warning. The password you entered for that for the username admin is incorrect. This means that admin is the registered user on this website. So copy this information as we need this. And now let's go back. And here, when you have submitted the uh, login file, just check your method. So we can see this is post method when we were submitting wp login.php, right? And let me see what we are getting inside the uh, body. So just copy the content
and this is the you know request body when you are uh, visiting wp or wipen login dot php file right and let me show show you where i have kept my uh, dictionary or you can say the pa password directory right so if you go i will be using hydra for the brute force attack here word list and here if you do ls minus la you would be able to see uh, rockq.txt.gunzip right this is the file we would be using to initiate the attack okay and uh, request is post directory is wp hyphen login dot php right and uh, from here you can see that this is the request body which it is uh, sharing right and uh, we know the username username admin is there on the site right and uh, now what else do you know i think that's it so okay so now i think we have all uh, all the information with us so let's initiate the brute force attack so hydra we will be using um uh, username is admin crack the password from this file rock you okay and uh, ip address of the website which you can find with the help of the ns lookup and uh, so we will be initiating attack on uh, 443 only specify the directory login dot php right and now you need to paste the request body from here copy paste so inside password you need to provide the variable here you can see this was the wrong password i typed so we need to tell hydra that here you need to pitch in the password because we know the username and username is admin right we just need to crack the password and uh, now after pasting the request body you need to paste the uh, error message through which uh, hydra will come to know whether that username and password was correct or not right so this is the error message we are getting so copy paste and then colon one okay so now uh, if you are going to hit enter it will start the brute force attack and uh, you know you can see that uh, it will take time because it is going to do like uh, 16 to 17 uh, attacks you know per minute right so here you can see attacking this particular website right and it will tell you the status and uh, maximum one task per one server overall one task one login try right it will show you the status after one minute as well so you know uh, if this website owner is using uh, any security tool right then uh, he will be able to prevent the attack and uh, he might not be able to lose uh, website access but if there is no security uh, you know plug in or no security cloud based security solution deployed for this particular uh, website then this will be hacked right because now we know the username we just need to break the password and this is what this tool is going to do i can have uh, three four machines right uh, simultaneously doing this job and any one of them will crack the password okay so you can see here 
we did one try per minute one try in 00 uh, minute right so i mean this is the virtual machine we are just doing it for the fun right i am not going to break the password in uh, for real so that is the reason i'm not using the heavy ft machine for this uh, attack as of now right this is just for learning purpose so make sure that you do not do attack in um, you know uh, for illegal purposes or any uh, military or secret service organizations right because that is illegal okay so that's all uh, please uh, save your uh, websites let me show you how i have protected my website so if you will visit our website right and if you try to uh, open up the back panel you won't be able to do that okay so uh, we are using multiple things to uh, secure the website here right we we do have cloud based security solution we do have endpoint security solution which is uh, preventing you know unauthorized access and uh, all the uh, types of uh, you know attacks like your brute force attack uh, dos attack right so uh, we are preventing all these attacks right and uh, <clears throat> requests are getting filtered right because uh, your service provider uh, you know the hosting service provider only they their bots try to break in into your websites right and sometimes it happens that uh, because you are you are hosting your website in a shared platform it might be possible that uh, you know the uh, the website which is hosted within your server right i mean because uh, within the server there might be uh, you know many websites which are hosted by the uh, provider so it might be possible uh, you know any other infected website can uh, initiate attack on on your instance right and we also call it a cross site scripting attack so these attacks it happens and uh, here you can see that we are not able to open up the back panel login and in fact if you try to right click right uh, this website will not allow you to uh, you know check the uh, source code right if you do a right click it will uh, block your uh, you know uh, request similarly if you are going to initiate the attack on this particular website then it is going to uh, catch it and it will block your access and you will be blocked for like uh, you know couple of hours right so this is how we uh, prevent uh, attacks on wordpress websites if you need help you can reach out to us right we provide consultation and we uh make sure that your uh, you know website is safe because your business is running through your website right so uh make internet a safer place to work right so that's the goal and we are just doing it for the risk assessment for one of our client right so that's it thanks for watching this video if you have any doubt uh, do mention your uh, doubt in the comment section and if you need any help you can reach out to us at uh, you know contact at ngcloudx.com thanks for watching this video have a nice day